In this video, we are going to integrate. We are going to integrate this. Now, as it stands, this thing is quite hard to integrate. So, if, um, if you if you differentiate it, let's look at its derivative. Differentiate it, it will be it will give you this um, x squared plus one and then two x. Um, later on, you're going to get an extra x over here. So you multiply to the top. But then, when when you look at the derivative, um, this is derivative of a form that we're familiar with. Uh, we, we, can, we, can, we can integrate this by, by using trigonometric substitution. You see, this x squared plus 1 looks very familiar. It's, um, it's of this form here, um, x squared plus 1. So the point is, you're, you're trying to integrate this, but if, if, you, um, if you look at its derivative, we can make use of this derivative. So by, by, by knowing the fact that, um, that this derivative is useful, you should, um, you should have a hunch that you should use uh, integration by parts. So let's let's visualize this block here as as one a block of one times its exact same self, and set this to be u, and set this to be v prime. Well, if this is u, then its derivative would be this thing here. If uh, if this is v prime, then integrate it, then v would be x. So now use integration by parts. It's saying get u times v. It's saying get uh, u times v, which will be this thing here. This is u, and this is, uh, sorry, this is v, and this is u. Uh, now it's saying, now, now you've got minus, minus, and then it's saying u prime times v, u prime times v. So that, that will then multiply with this. That will give you 2x squared, but then 2 is a constant, so you can take the 2 out. That will then give you this thing here. Now, once it's in this form, once it's in this form, we've done this many times. You should be familiar with this now. We should use, um, you should have a hunch to use trigonometric substitution. But before we do this, let's let's tidy this up. Uh, we can we can tidy this up. Bear with me. So you use a trick that we've we've always used in the past. Write write the numerator as uh, plus one, and then immediately take away one. So this thing here is really x squared. So by 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 rewriting this. Uh, by rewriting x squared as this, you, you can simplify it. So now split this fraction up into two parts, into one part and into the other part. So um, so now this is exactly the same divided by exactly the same. That would be one. So now now this is easy to integrate, and this becomes a lot simpler. So earlier we had this. By by using this trick of ours, it then becomes something simpler. It becomes this thing here. So, uh, so this, uh, well, this is a lot simpler than than this. So now let's look at this bit here. This is easy to integrate. Integrate that, and it will give you. Integrate this, and it will give you two um, uh, x. And then now let's let's concentrate on this bit here. So let's concentrate on this bit here. Um, looking at this bit here, uh, your eyes should zoom into this. Create a triangle in such a way that this thing will be true. Well, if you look at your triangle, create your triangle. If you make the uh, the opposite to be x, the adjacent to be one, then the hypotenuse will have no choice but to be the square root of x squared plus one. So, so you've got this thing here. Well, that's very very similar to this. So now, hang on. Now, if you look at this, um, we need to we need to extract dx. So let's 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 choose this one here. If you if you let tan, x, tan theta equals x, then differentiate it, then dx equals this thing here. So now we can put this into the dx, um, and then and then looking looking at this, we need to extract x squared plus one from our diagram. So if you look at um, if you look at this secant theta secant theta equals hypotenuse over one, uh, hypotenuse over adjacent, which is this thing here. So, uh, so square root. Well, you see, this is very similar here. From here, if you um, if you square both sides, that will then give you this. So now x squared plus one, x squared plus one. So we can now put this into into the denominator, and then uh, for the dx, we can put this into the dx. So this thing here will then become will then become this thing here. Okay, so so if you put this into the dx, that will be the numerator. 
if you uh, if you put this into the denominator into this whole thing here it will then be this so now these two will cancel each other out giving you giving you giving you one giving you one so now uh, now it's easy to integrate integrate this it will with respect to theta it will give you theta so all these are in terms of x in terms of x but then you've got your your theta here but we don't want the answer in terms of theta so we would go back to our original diagram go back to our original diagram remember the answer is in theta we would we would go back to the original diagram earlier x is 10 theta so if you want theta on its own then inverse 10 equally to both sides so theta equals inverse 10 of x so so theta equals inverse 10 of x we can put this back into the theta back into the theta here that would then give us this so our final answer would be this okay